my name is Miss Yeji. And I'm Mrs. O. And my name is Luigi. <laughs> uh, Mrs. O, what's wrong with your hands? Oh, these? Yeah, what are those? You've never heard of these? These are mittens. Mittens. Yeah, you wear what them. What are mittens? Yeah, you wear them when your hands are cold in the winter, like it is now. Oh, so they keep you warm? Yeah, yeah. These, um, I like these when I walk my dog in the winter because all of these fingers, these four fingers, are all keeping each other warm in this part. Oh. Yeah, not like gloves where each finger is showing. That's wonderful. So yeah. they're all nice and toasty. Yeah. Huh. Well, also, what else do you wear when it's cold outside? Uh, I wear, uh, what, what do you wear when it's cold outside, kids? Oh. Someone said a hat? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have some of those things that I'm going to put on like a hat and stuff, Great. and we're going to play a game with it, okay? Sure! Okay, so someone said hat. I have a hat. Here. <gasps> oh, you look nice and toasty! Yeah, it's warm. <laughs> what else do you wear when it's warm, kids at home? Oh, somebody said you wear a jacket, a coat, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah! So, that's my great pink coat. Oh. Okay, what else? <laughs> oh, I think I heard boots. <gasps> yeah. That's a good one. You want to keep nice. your feet warm. Yep. Oh, I those look boots. really comfy. Yep. You keep your off. feet nice and toasty. Yep. And let's see. Oh, what about a scarf? Oh, yeah. Keep your neck warm. I got a scarf here. Wow. Looks like a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to play a game. I have my <laughs> mittens. Mittens. That's right. Good job, <laughs> my coat, my scarf, my hat, and my boots. So I'm going to remove something, one or maybe more things, and at home, see if you can figure out what is missing. <laughs> <gasps> wow, that was magical. <laughs> Kids, can you guess what's missing from Mrs. O's ensemble? Uh, let me see. Hmm. Uh, I think you're missing something very pink and cozy. <laughs> special finger play. It's called Hat, Scarf, Mittens, and Boots. And it goes like this. So this is called Hat, Scarf, Mittens, and Boots. And it's to the tune of head and shoulders, knees and toes. So what you what you want to do is you're going to point to the areas where you put on your hat or your scarf or your mittens or your boots. And then it's going to say warm and cozy in the snow and you're going to hug yourself Goes like this. Hat, scarves, mittens, and boots, mittens, and boots. Hat, scarves, mittens, and boots, mittens, and boots. Warm and cozy in the snow. Hat, scarves, mittens, and boots, mittens, and boots. Okay, we're going to do that a little fast. 
faster this time. felt slash puppet show for you and it is called the mitten. It goes like this. Hope you enjoy it. One day a little boy was playing out in the snow and he had on his two mittens, his two green mittens, and he was playing in the snow so much that he was getting warm and so he took the mittens off. And when it was time to go, when he was done playing, he looked all around and all he could find was one of those green mittens. So he decided that it was going to be getting dark soon and he better just go home and he would come back another day to find the mitten. So the mitten laid in the snow for a while when along came a squirrel. Oh boy, it's so cold. What is this? Oh, it's a mitten. It looks nice and warm. And I think, hmm, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to squeeze into it so I can stay nice and warm. Let's see if this works. So he squeezed into the mitten, and it was nice and warm. But it had to stretch out for the squirrel to fit inside. And now the mitten was this big. And pretty soon along came a rabbit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, what's this? It's a mitten. And I'm very, very, very cold. I wonder if I can squeeze inside there so I can be nice and toasty. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Wait a minute. <gasps> There's not enough room for you in here. Oh. But it's cold and I need to go in there. Can I go in there? Uh, fine. So, Mr. Rabbit squeezed in with Mr. Squirrel, but in order for them both to fit, the mitten stretched out some more and became this big. After a while, along came a raccoon. Oh, I say. What a lovely mitten. I wonder. With it being so cold, if I could squeeze into that lovely mitten. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Wait a minute. Huh? What's this? Hmm? Can I squeeze into there, I say? Oh, uh, no, there's not enough room in here with Mr. Squirrel. Please, it's very, very cold outside, I say. No, oh, all right. Thank you, good chap. So, Mr. Raccoon also squeezed into the mitten with Squirrel and Rabbit. But, of course, the mitten had to stretch to fit all of them in. So it became this size. And you're never going to believe who came along next. It was Mr. Bear. Oh, all that snow. It's very cold outside, I think. Uh, I need to get inside, but I'm a long way from home. What's this? It looks like a mitten, and it's so soft. I think 
I could jump inside there and get warm. Yeah. What? Right as he was getting ready to jump in. Hello. What are you doing? Well, I just wanted to get inside out of the cold. I don't think so. There's barely enough room for me. But it's really cold outside. Please? Oh, all right. So, bear, squeeze into the mitten. And in order for bear to fit in the mitten, it had to stretch even bigger. Till it was this big. And all of the animals were nice and warm inside of that mitten. Until along came a little bitty mouse. Oh, I'm so lost and cold. It's so cold. What's this? Oh, it's a mitten. Oh, it's nice and soft and warm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go inside. Yeah, and get nice and warm. But when the mouse started to go inside. Can I help you? Um, there's barely enough room for me, and you have whiskers, and I might sneeze. But please, I won't take up too much space. Mmm, well, hey guys, is it okay? All right, come on in. Watch, watch my nose, I, uh, your whiskers. Oh, okay. So the mouse started to squeeze into the mitten with all the other animals. But just as Bear had feared, Whoa. Mouse's little whiskers started to tickle him. And he could feel a sneeze coming on. And all of the animals flew out of the mitten. The next day, when the little boy came to look for his mitten, he looked all around until he came to this very large mitten. And he had his other mitten with him. And when he compared them, he realized there was no way that very large mitten could be his. So he walked away and just kept looking. Hello, kids. Now it's time for Nursery Rhymes with Luigi. Well, I show you a nursery rhyme, and I give you my take on it. This one is about an old woman who lived in a shoe. <laughs> okay, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth with plenty of bread and kissed them all fondly and sent them to bed. <laughs> okay, this is mine. This is my version of this. Okay, there was an old woman who lived in a mitten. She had so many children, she felt like a mother kitten. She gave them some toys, the girls and the boys, and they played in the snow on a winter's morn. <laughs> this is a story about three little kittens.
Mystery by Stephen Kellogg. So if you want to read this book with us, let's sing our song. If you like to read a book, say shh. If you like to read a book, say shh. If you like to read a book, sit up and take a look. If you like to read a book, say shh. Okay, come closer, closer. Too close, back up, friend. I love the pictures in this book. Oh. Stephen Kellogg, he does really cool. Wonderful. Yeah, you can see they're outside playing, it looks like. Oh, I wonder what they're doing. They're fun, aren't they? Mom, what a big snowball. Oh. Oscar, I lost my other mitten. Oh, no. That makes five mittens this winter. Oh. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> Just like our other story where a <laughs> boy lost his mitten. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Let's search every place we played today. We'll start at the hill where we rode on Ralph's sled. Imagine what they did. Wow. Here's Ralph's boot, but there's no mitten. Oh no! Ralph better find his boot. Yeah, <laughs> but his foot was cold going home. Yeah. You can see all the trails of, from the sled. Wow. I'll look around the castles we built with Ralph and Herbie and Ruth. That was fun. Oh, that's awesome. Imagining them playing. Or yeah. I would love to build a snow castle. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> it's very smart of this child to think about all the places we've been when, or she when they um, lose something, isn't it? Yeah. Here's Ralph's other boot and Ruth's sock and Herbie's sweater. Oh, my. I wonder <laughs> where they are. <laughs> they must have got hot playing. Yeah. But no mitten. Oh no. Oscar, you found it. <gasps> Look at that little red thing. Oh yeah. Uh oh, but when he goes to find it, get it. Wow, a flying mitten. Oh, that's not a mitten. No. <laughs> Look what it was. It's only a little bird, a little red bird. Oh. What's it called? Do you know what those are called? What red birds are called? Do you uh, like that? What are they called? A cardinal. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if he stole my mitten to make a snuggly nest. He's imagining the, the bird with his mitten. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a warm place. Mm -mm. No. He's too small to carry off a mitten. But an eagle could do it. Wow. He's imagining again. <laughs> Maybe an eagle took my mitten to keep his baby's head warm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it? head? Yeah. <laughs> My mitten got tired of being a mitten. Maybe it just slipped off my hand and hopped away. <laughs> you imagine? That's funny. There are no mitten tracks, but there here are some mouse tracks heading toward the wood pile. Oh. Could that mouse be using my mitten for a sleeping bag? Maybe. Oh, oh cute. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he'll wear it next Halloween and be a mitten money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see if I dropped my mitten while we were making the snowman man to surprise Miss Seltzer. I haven't seen your mitten, Annie, but why don't you look in the garden where you were making snow angels? Oh, oh. that's nice. <laughs> and it was nice of them to make a snowman for Miss Seltzer, too, wasn't it? Yeah. Finding missing mittens is hard work. It would be easier to grow new ones. <laughs> grow mittens? Let's try planting the other mitten right here in the garden. Next spring, when the snow melts, a little mitten tree might sprout. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mrs. O, <laughs> she has a great imagination. She does. I you're <laughs> right. Wouldn't that be fun if you could plant something and it, it grew up? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Seltzer and I would take good care of it all summer long. She's watering it and giving her the weeds. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> In the fall, we pick the right mittens. Wow. Isn't that neat? <laughs> they look like weeds. They do. Then I give mittens on Christmas. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. And mittens on birthdays. And mittens on Valentine's Day. <laughs>
Oscar, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain. We'll never find that mitten. Come inside, Annie. I made some hot chocolate for us and I got a biscuit for Oscar. Oh, hot Look, the rain is melting the snowman. Oh, but no. What's that spot on his chest? Oh, okay. oh, looks like a heart. Yeah. Gracious, your snowman has a heart. Oh, wow. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> My mitten is the heart of the snowman. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, that look, and she finally found a mitten. Wow. What a wonderful story. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. O, for sharing. And we have a craft for you that goes along with mittens. And it also involves some fine motor skills, which are the actions that use the small muscles in the hands and the fingers and the wrists. And children need those fine motor skills to be able to do important skills, such as tying the shoes and using scissors and writing. And they develop this um, through practice. And lacing activities are a great way to practice fine motor skills. So, what you can do, kids, is you can take your own hand and put your fingers together and you leave your thumb out just like a mitten and trace around it and then cut it out. And you can take a hole punch, have one or maybe um, a pencil and poke holes through it all the way around. And then take a piece of yarn and lace it through the holes and tie it. And then you can decorate it however you want. I have some sequins and buttons and paints and marker. And, um, you have some mittens. You can make lots of mittens with lots of colors and designs. You have fun doing that. And that was our story time. Um, I hope you had a wonderful time and just as much as fun as we had. Um, and now it's time to sing our goodbye song.